Well, hey, it's me again, and it's time to get busy on Project CJ5 Resto Mod, we're going to call it, because we're going to restore this thing, but not back to the way it rolled off the factory. We're going to do a few upgrades as we go, modernize a few things where it needs modernizing, and keep the hardcore bits and pieces where they need to stay hardcore. So this is kind of the first step of this Jeep's teardown. So what I'm going to work on today is I'm going to take off all the bits and pieces off the tub that I want to keep or that we think are in good shape. Basically the framework for the soft top, um, that kind of thing. And then I'm going to see if I can get this roll cage out. So I'll be starting in on these big bolts here on the side and so forth as we start to work on getting the roll cage out of here. One thing that I'm a little embarrassed to find out is as I got this, pulled this out of the side of the house, it's been in a storage garage for some years. I looked at the, the license plate tag. So let me just show you that here. Two thousand and two was the last time I had this thing on the highway. That's embarrassing. Um, time just goes by, you know. That's eighteen years that this thing has been not moving under its own power. So obviously, if we did anything with this engine, it we'd have to first of all kind of stick a drill in there and turn the oil pump and get some oil pressure back in it. Um, so basically, we're just going to treat this thing like it's been. Like it's a barn find, let's call it a barn find. It wasn't in the barn, but it was looking like it was. I vacuumed out all the interior here, so all the spider webs and leaves and all that are gone. So I'm gonna tear into this thing and I'll bring you along. We'll take some parts off and see how we can do about starting to get this thing broken down in preparation for our tub and our fenders and all that to get here. So let's get after it. Well, good morning. It's New Year's Day. So, got the three day weekend ahead of me here, and um, I'm just going to continue on. Today's first order of business I have the roll cage completely disassembled or disconnected from the Jeep. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to back the car out of the driveway or out into the driveway, and I'm going to get this roll bar off, set it over here on the open side of the garage. And since I'm going to keep this and reuse it, and it's going to have to live outside for a little while. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sand it down a little, kind of take off all the rust that I can get off. And then I think I've got some primer. I'm just going to slap a quick coat of primer on it. And then I'll get it out there where I can kind of store it for a while. I've got the seats out of the CJ7 and it's top sitting here behind the CJ5 in the garage here. I think I'll move those down into the basement today maybe some of the camping gear just to give myself a little more room to work and then um, tear into it so it's not going to be too exciting for a little bit here i'll shut the camera off and get the thing off the jeep although maybe that's one of those where i should leave the camera running in case we have to explain to the emergency room guys how i dropped a roll bar on my head but uh, hopefully that won't happen so i'll shut the camera off for a little bit get that placed maybe i'll turn it back on and show you what we're looking at in terms of the condition of this roll cage and we'll start kind of doctoring this thing up a little bit so we can store it for a while. All right, well that went easy enough. So the roll bar is off the Jeep and um, ready to be looked at. So let's just see 
I'll give you a look from the front here. So we had those two chunks here and here that were welded to the bottom of the tub. Pretty gnarly looking, rusted and crappy welding as it turns out. And then if we come up here, um, some more not so great welding. There's a, there was a two pieces here welded together it looks like. And then um, that's pretty nasty. So anyway, I'll uh, put the grinder to this thing for a little bit with that kind of wheel that just takes the paint off quick and we'll clean it up a little bit and see if it looks like it's worth keeping the whole cage together or if maybe I should look at getting rid of these chunks. I saw another guy that had a kind of a full cage that bolted around this and then it went down and it bolted kind of to here this area of the firewall <clears throat> interesting so because this is honestly a little bit difficult always to get in and out of the jeep with this here and you can see you know well you can see over there how kicked up it is it, it was always a little tough to get in and out we couldn't really work the emergency brake very good over here because that's kind of in the way <clears throat> so it might be worth looking at doing this a little bit differently but for now I'll continue on with the plan I said I was going to do, which is get it cleaned up and coat of primer slapped on it really quick so it'll survive while we do other things. So let's get tearing into that process. All right, well, I thought I'd give you a quick look here before I slap a little paint on this thing. These are not gonna survive, so I'm not gonna mess with those at this point other than just to maybe grind them down smooth a little bit, but I've got all the rest of this pretty much down to bare metal. A few little odds and ends here that it's tough to get into, but all I'm trying to do is protect the thing, so I'm gonna go ahead and slap a coat of primer on this and call it good for now. Well, hey, good morning. Uh, it's me again, and it's day three of our New Year's uh, three-day weekend, and I've spent a fair amount of it out here in the shop working on the CJ5 here. So today I'm gonna work on it a bit more and see if I can get this tub ready to come off. So what I'm finding is, if I'm counting all these up, with my first Jeep I ever had was a 79 CJ5, I think. I pulled the tub off that, did some work on the frame on that one. Did the CJ7, had to stick it out to the side, got the CJ5 going here. I'm getting pretty good at taking Jeeps apart. So I guess we'll find out if I'm any good at putting them back together. But um, today's goal is to really get this thing ready to get this tub off of here. And um, I'll just give you a, kind of a quick rundown on what we got done so far this weekend. 
I did get the roll bar out and you saw that we kind of cleaned that thing up. I slapped a coat of primer on it and have it back outside there with the other Jeep so it's kind of off to the side. I just thought I'd show you <clears throat> what the frame look, looks like really without the tub in here. I'm going to show you the places where the, or without the roll bar in it, I'm going to show you the places where the roll bar was quote unquote hooked to the tub up here in the front. So bear with me here. Let's take a quick peek down here. So yeah, there's, there's me again. That's not supposed to be there. That's the, how rotted and <clears throat> rusted out that thing was. Um, you can see it was uh, not much metal left there. Same thing over here on the driver's side. And then of course, if we come back here and we go back to where the thing bolted down, looked like that. Just uh, in case you are wondering, no, you're not supposed to be able to see the tires from inside of the tub like that. So yeah, we're, we're, we're this, this is what it is. So anyway, um, what's going to happen today is the hood's ready to come off. It just needs to be lifted off of there. Uh, I'll drop these fenders, pull my fender flares off because those I think we'll be able to clean up and salvage those and the lights and so forth. Um, these fenders are going to the garbage and the tub is as well. So we'll just take all this stuff off and see if we can get this all ready to go. So we'll pull out the fuel fillers, got to come out. Hopefully we won't have all those pollution control doodads that we had on the other one over there. Um, these are tail light wires here sticking out. So yeah, it shouldn't take too much work um, to get this tub ready to come off this thing. Remember I said, I don't know if you remember, but I did say on the other one that I thought a lot of times the VIN number and so forth was right here on the dash. So it looks like that's part of what the original stuff was on this one. And um, so anyway, yeah, there's a, here's the driver's side tub. You can see how that metal was just, there's just nothing left of it there. Just completely rotted through. So it was well beyond time to fix this old girl up. So we're just gonna th take all the tools out of the back here again, clean this up a little bit, but it's ready to get to that point now. We'll drop the dash out, set that aside, and just get ourselves rolling. So um, I'll start working on that and I'll bring you along for most of it or anything substantial and we'll see if we have any more surprises as we get a little further into this thing. All right, just a quick look inside of this fender. So <clears throat> I'm working on the passenger side front fender and I just wanted to show you what happens when we salt the roads in Utah here. So see if I can get you down in where you can get a good look at that. That's what our vehicles look like after the highway department slathers our roads in salt in the summer or in the winter. So there's your cautionary tale. All you people who live in Arizona or Texas or California or places like that that don't have winter and don't have salty roads, thank your lucky stars. Your vehicles never wind up looking like this. All right, well, it's, uh, it's Sunday night, and I thought I'd just give you a quick wrap up. I didn't get everything done I wanted to get done on the Jeep. I didn't get the tub completely loosened up, but I got everything off the firewall side and um, got the fenders off. So here's the firewall. Um, the only thing left to unhook is those two hoses for the heater, and then I'll be ready to pull my motor mount bolts off. So no real surprises. I got most of the dash out of here. And once I get that heater core out, then the heater chunk will come out. And um, I found a little more rust. So look at that. I at one point had been naive enough to think that maybe I didn't need a windshield frame, but uh, I had sent the guys over there in Toledo a um, email the other day and just said hey let's better get me a windshield frame as well so good thing I did that because we definitely need it 
So that's where we're gonna leave her for this weekend. Um, I got the hood off sitting here. And I think what I might wind up doing is I may, um, one evening next week or next weekend, I might set the hood up on a on my little bench and sand this inside down, give it a coat of primer, maybe even do the outside and give it a coat of primer just because this hood is in pretty good shape right now. And if it's got to go outside, I don't want it to get bad because it's outside. So there we have it. That's going to wrap us up for the weekend. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next week.